Laurie had MS. His pain was unending and intolerable. His treatment, care and pain management didn't alleviate his agony. He had neuropathic pain, which for in his circumstances was unstoppable. I was naive enough to think that the pain specialists, physiotherapists, neurologists, stem cell treatments, specialist deep GPs could help him. And they did. They were wonderful. They, they cared for him. The attention he got from his carers and from everyone was thoroughly admirable. And I thank them deeply. But the truth is that they couldn't really make any effect on his symptoms. He chose to end his suffering in September 2016 at the age of 51. He didn't get to have the peaceful death he spoke of, surrounded by those who loved him and that he loved. We lost him earlier than was necessary, as he was losing the use of his hands and he felt he needed to take action quickly before paralysis took control. If voluntary assisted dying laws were in place, he would have had peace of mind and security in the knowledge that there was a caring, compassionate and civilised end available to him. I've included the word civilised because surely this has to be one of the clearest indicators of a true civilization: how we as a society treat the ill and suffering, those who are tortured by pain and incurable symptoms. It's more compassionate to allow, to allow someone to say goodbye to their family. It's more humane to stop someone's pain. It's more civilized to let love, loved ones be supportive and involved. And ultimately, fear will be lessened. Life may be extended and damage will be considerably less for all concerned. I lost time with the love of my life, my best friend, my children missed out on precious experiences with their, f with their father. And, sorry. And Laurie missed seeing his pride and joy, his children growing into the wonderful people they are. He said, there are some things worse than death. Now, I can't say how long uh, he would have lived if he had not taken matters into his own hands. But I do know that the peace of mind that he would have had, the knowledge that he, that he could have had someone in a caring and compassionate manner to give him something that would end his suffering, um, that would have made a difference and he, we would have had him for longer.